This is the 2016 Titan. This is the first time they've redesigned this truck in over a million years. Actually, it's been like 12 years, but that's still a really long time. The first thing I noticed is this truck is absolutely massive. It's so big. I know trucks are big, but I mean, it's a pretty big truck. Something a lot of car manufacturers do is they try to sensationalize the design of their, of their vehicles. Like, you know, Hyundai, they have the fluidic sculpture, which is inspired by the motion of wind and water. I don't know, it's kind of weird. With a Nissan Titan, its stance is supposed to resemble that of a warrior. I, I don't really know what a warrior looks like, but like this, I guess. So these are 20 inch rims. These are the biggest rims you can get on this truck and they're supposed to look like wrenches. Each spoke is a wrench. We have a Warrior with wrench wheels. There we go. I would think most people who drive trucks can probably do this better than I can. Because it's the Platinum Edition, all of the accents are chrome. You have chrome door handles and you have chrome on the side steps. The side steps are really big and really nice. This is the front of the, of the new Nissan. This is in Cayenne Red and it is a very big truck. I keep saying that, but it's true. It's, like, I'm a normal sized person, although I don't really look like it, but I am. The headlights are pretty big too, and so is the grill. The emblem's really big. Everything's really big. But the headlights have HID's big Nissan badging, and then right here you have a camera. This is for the all around view. So if you're driving, um, you know, maybe through a parking stall, you're trying to park or something like that, then it's, it's gonna sense that, the, that you're driving through tight quarters, and it's gonna turn on your all around view inside the dash, so you're gonna be able to you know, see how close you are to that tiny, minuscule vehicle that's beside you that you could crush, no problem. It's a very, very nice front end. It's, I like, I like this right here with the, with the hood. It's not just a, a flat hood. You have all these, all these curves. They make it look very capable. It looks like a capable truck. All right. This is the, you see me up all the way up here. This is the Cummins turbo diesel that we talked about in the Titan. Now the thing that makes this a bit different than the one that's in the Ram is the one that's in the Ram is a 6.7 liter. This is a five liter, which is obviously a lot smaller. It has 310 horsepower and 555 foot pounds of torque. That's a lot of torque. It can tow 12,000 pounds. Or you can opt for the older 5.6 liter, which is the, the gas engine. They've had it in this car for a really long time. It is a 390 horsepower, 401 foot pound torque engine. I really like the side steps with this, with this truck. And this took up more than some other side steps. So I can do this, I can just walk across. They're not meant for that, but maybe if you didn't want to get your feet dirty, you could always do that. I could sit in here and then I could probably get out and get into the back seat without even touching the ground, which is really what driving trucks is all about. And because the running boards go past the back door, you can even jump into the back of the bed. Because this is a sort of heavy duty truck, you need a lot of brakes to stop it because you might be towing something. So this has really big um, vented disc brakes in the front and then I don't think they're vented in the back but they're still really, really big. And also has leaf springs. Cody, what are leaf springs? I'm gonna Google leaf spring. A leaf spring takes the form of a slender arc-shaped length of spring, steel, or rectangular cross-section, while tie holes are provided at either end for attaching to the vehicle body. T toss me the keys. We've already explained what leaf springs are. You don't have to look it up anymore. So we're inside the Titan, and it is such a nice vehicle. It's so nicely finished. I really like it. Um, wood on the steering wheel that goes around the entire steering wheel, which is really cool. You can go through this this menu here, you, you can see your fuel economy, you can see the trip, you can see the def level. What's def level? You can go off-roading and it tells you your, your tilt and everything. This is not the nicest display. It still has a CD player too, which is weird because a lot of vehicles don't have CD players anymore. Right here you have your camera button. And when you hit your camera button, then you can see the all-around view. This is in front. You can touch camera and it changes the views. You have a heated steering wheel. You have heated and cooled seats there. I think there's six stage, which is a lot of stages. I usually like mine really hot or really cold. You can search Facebook on this thing, which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Now, there's lots of storage in this truck. There's so much storage. There's storage here for something. I don't know what you want to put there. There's like a storage on this side and on this side here. 
And then there's lots of storage here and there's two cup holders. The thing that's cool though, is these are modular. So these come out and you can move them, oops, you can move them all around. You can put them there or you can put them there or I guess you can put them there if you wanted to. That's cool. These are zero gravity seats. They were supposedly designed by NASA or inspired by NASA or something like that. So they're space seats. They actually are like no joke, incredibly comfortable. Like probably some of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in in a vehicle. Look at this. It has a power tilting steering wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six cup holders in the back. I guess everyone can drink coffee and pop. We say pop because this is Canada. No sodas here. No sodas here. A. Eh? Cody's our, our resident tall person. Cody, how tall are you? Six foot five. He's six foot five, and you have lots of room, right? Absolutely. You have lots of headroom and legroom. Crazy. The seats in the back are also heated, which is really nice because everyone likes heated rear seats. The transmission tunnel, which is the bump that's in you know most most back seats. It's not that big, and these seats fold up really easily. You just have to pull, push them up like this. It's super easy, and then um, you have sort of a flat load floor. Move it, move this like this, and it's totally flat. There's also locking storage in here. It's locked. Now it's unlocked, and you can store stuff in here. Oh, there's handles. Don't touch, don't touch it. Because I wanna make a point. I drive a Ram 1500 and the seats can be folded down, folded up without hitting, without like pulling any levers. If I was on this side, I wanted to fold the seats down, I couldn't. I'd have to go all the way over here and do this and then this is gonna happen. Because that's just the way it is. I don't, I don't like that very much, but nonetheless, it's a very nice vehicle. This is the back of the truck. And because this is the Platinum, you have this really awesome chrome right here. It looks so nice. Now, is this metal or is this plastic? One awesome thing about this is you open this up and it just like slowly falls, which is really cool. So this has toolboxes. You can just open them up. Open them up, yeah, like that. And you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Now you're thinking, but that means I can't haul as much stuff in the back of my truck because the toolboxes are in the way. But no, they actually come out. I don't know how they come out, but they come out though. Cody, can you toss me the key? Well, oh, I got it. No, I locked it. So um, yeah, there are cleats that are hidden right here. So what you can do is you can slide the anchors you know, back and forth. You can tie down like ATVs or something like that. There's also more cleats right here and right here. And then what's even more amazing is you have these things. This one right here is a gooseneck ball hitch. There are LEDs throughout the back of the truck. There's LEDs here and here. And uh, if you're working back here, then you can turn the LEDs on. You can see what you're doing when you're working. And then it also has a 120 volt outlet. So it has like an actual electrical outlet, which is back here. So you can plug in tools or something. And that's amazing. That is. That's probably like my favorite feature in this whole truck. I can plug things in. Whoops, that was an accident. All in all, this is a really versatile truck. I feel like it might be more versatile than the you know Fords and Rams. People get very upset at me for saying that. And people are gonna hate me and they're gonna say in the comments, what's your problem? Don't you think that an American vehicle is better than a Japanese vehicle? I, I don't know, it's, it's a really, really handy vehicle. I think that does it for our review of the 2016 Titan. If you liked what you saw, you should subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.